Just breaks his shield. I'm gonna be honest. Stock. Kind of, kind of deserved. After all the taunting, all of the, uh, all the taunts, all the. Uh... <laughs> oh, I never updated this. I mean, honestly, dude, if you're Dan, I mean, you have to feel pretty good after that. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely like a. That's definitely some good momentum to have going into this game. Dan on his Kobe Bryant shit. <laughs> Honestly, like that was amazingly clutch. But there's la there, there's layers to this. And so now we're talking about a character that's a lot more impressive to Charizard. Oh yeah. Quite honestly, like I said. That was a good set, but I think Micah deserved it because you avoid taunting on everybody. I mean, what's the avoid? What do you want, bitch? That's, that's being a bad guy. Sometimes the bad guys lose. You're drunk? Soon. Oh, that's not doing it again. Okay. You have taunts. So do mine. Are you guys doing it? You just can't see it. Yeah. Are you the master? Yes. Hello, stream. Uh, this is your boy, uh, Tim, little bitch, uh, Zetomware. Some hard truths, Matt Miller died today. It's a sad life. It is a very sad life. Yeah, rest in peace. Oh, and, uh, okay, so fish good bounce of fish there. And already, Justin, only 32% off. Oh, the reverse up to The reverse up to and to And, like, crazy. Justin rocking the same sponsor. Oh, we need to change his name real quick. Oh, right. That's what I forgot to do. I'll type it. Yeah. Same sponsor, but Justin honestly just as like a player and as a person has a lot of tact and like this confidence when he plays and just like he's, he's very cool collected. He's very um I would say stoic. I don't think I've ever seen Justin taunt. Honestly. Justin Even if he doesn't like somebody or doesn't respect them as a player. He still respects them as a human being, kind of. Yeah. Uh, so, like, he'll show his disrespect if he has it through uh, playing, like, secondaries. Like, yeah. He, won't, he probably will never play Sheik against me for a while. I mean, okay, he's... I, I mean, like, he's very stone-faced when it comes to playing in-game. I mean, like, I can't... Like, reading his emotions, his, his face is just concrete. You can definitely, like, get to him, but, like, he tries to keep very composed. Like, he's not going to taunt people, and he you goes, know what I mean, but... And he goes underneath the Flare Blitz for the Tipper Up Smash. That was pretty convincing game one. Actually. Wait, Control Me? Damn, that's kinky. I know, Control Me. Your team name is Control Me? <laughs> oh, control heat. Uh, Never mind. Breaking news: Shane is in the BDSM. So, uh, <laughs> Shane, <laughs> we can't be saying that. On <laughs> we can't say that on stream. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. My bad. So instead, we got the Human Torch because it's control heat. <laughs> control heat. And uh, we got a counter pick to final destination. I don't know how I feel about that. I also don't know how I feel about this. I don't know why it wouldn't go platforms. Honest, I'm, I'm being honest. I do know how I feel about it. I don't feel good about it. I, I yeah. Like, um, I can tell you right now, Sheik's best stage is FD. So why would you ever Ooh, pick... that was a great grab there. So why would you ever take her to FD? I mean, maybe Dan's just feeling himself. Maybe he saw something that we don't. I mean, it's very likely. Like, uh, for instance, when uh, he would always counter pick. Uh, Omega Wily's against Micah when he played Cloud. Yeah. We always were questioning him because uh, he hasn't. It means he gets a wall jump. He can recover easier. Yeah. But when I talked to Dan about it, he was saying, "Oh, it's because he can't. Like, if it went to FD, he could drift under the stage and avoid flare, uh, flamethrower. Yeah. But he can't do that on on um, Wily's because of the wall. So. I mean, I don't. Obviously, really... he's not playing Micah as Cloud anymore, but. I mean, it's the point is being he probably knows something that we don't. He sees something that isn't apparent to us, but like what we're seeing right now is that this counterfeit does not look like it's working out. Yeah. 
we went for a grab off the board. Expecting him to tech in place. Okay, that was a good wait for the up air there. Oh, oh. he goes for a hard read on the forward smash. Oh, reverse jab. I feel like that was a bull read, but I'm not sure Justin would really ever give that to anyone. Okay, good on smash there. One more and that'll do it. He just walks <laughs> up to him. The Zard walk. The Zard walk. The Zard walk. What a man. Up tilt. I think that might have been a... That probably should have been an up smash. Because that hitbox is probably bigger. So... Up there. <laughs> the fuck no, I'm laughing because of um what Micah said. He said he that Dan could be a very stoic, or not stoic, a very Salem-esque Bayo because he's so fucking lame. Wow. Yeah, that's it though. Yeah, tip rip that's smash. a 2-0 lead for Justin. And it's not looking good. I mean, we saw a reverse 3-0 just the previous set, but we're talking about Justin, a very. We got Dan stroking his chin. Tim. <laughs> stroking his chin. <laughs> hey, Perch. Get fucked. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Little Mac! Little Mac! That's good, right? Yeah. Good DJ, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we're seeing it. I mean, he's got nothing more to lose. If he loses the match with Charizard, he oh. gets upset because he loses with Charizard. If he wins the game with Mac, he wins with Mac. If he loses with Mac, he was playing Mac. Here's the thing. I've always seen Dan Bay on the little Mac. Oh, he's dead. He's actually dead, yeah. Well, I think he just wants that, like, if even if I lose, it's not. Yeah, I think it's even if it's not. Yeah, I think it's even if I lose, it's not like it's that big of a deal. I mean, like, if he takes the stock, he just needs KO punch, honestly. Oh, but he's dead, though. He's dead! Yeah, he's just dead. What? That's... You're going to Rianne's? <laughs> that's... I'm going to Sugar Bowl. Yeah, that's it. Justin takes a 3-0. And that's it. 